affect people, especially like in Texas again. Um, Trump signs an executive order to push it to make it easier to build oil and gas. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but about a month ago, there was an um, oil rig explosion in, in the Houston area. And another one happened like a week later in the, in the northern part of Houston. I don't know if you guys remember the whole Dakota Access pipeline mm -hmm. right. where they're drilling. And it kind of makes some environmental hazards. Right. Um, he signed an executive order. So, um, but they said, you know, them executive orders, that don't mean it's... Right. They said that it doesn't really mean much because you would think that people have a moral standard and, you know, ethical standard and be like, you know, ah, we probably shouldn't dig here. We probably shouldn't do this. We probably shouldn't do that. But as a person that lives here and have seen and lived a long time and seen how people do, I don't think they care. Like, I think that we are leaning on them to make good decisions. But at the end of the day, the stockholders are going to be like, we need to make money. So you need to pump more oil. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they had um, the Republican lawmakers and energy groups um, accused blue states of blocking pipeline projects using the section of the Clean Air Act. Um, one of Trump's executive orders will aim to weaken that power. Whether it actually happens remains to be seen. So Trump's pipeline order marked his latest effort to push for infrastructure projects. His administrations will un unleash American energy. Um, I'm going to go on the leash and say he probably hasn't done much research on this. In early 2017, Trump administration reversed an Obama, Obama administration act, act decision to deny a key permit for the Dakota Access Pipeline and instead approved its construction. So like I said, he, ordered, he issued a second presidential permit for the Keystone XL pipeline after an entire permit was overturned by the U.S. District Judge. His latest permit is also being challenged in court. So it, they put these things in place so that people's homes, lives, health isn't, aren't in jeopardy, and he just goes over their heads and says no because he doesn't care. But you have to think about it. And it doesn't really affect us too much, but some people that live like on the Gulf Coast, remember when they had that oil spill yeah, and it yeah. ruined the whole shrimp industry for years yeah, yeah. Um, in New Orleans? Mm -hmm. you, like, you have to take all those into consideration. So what Trump was doing, I mean, what Obama was doing was putting regulations on these people. Like, you can't do this, you can't do that. And he's overriding all that. And you would think that people like in Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi would be out there like, oh my God, no, because of what happened to their water and their food, right. but, you know. <laughs> they kill us. Maybe they have so much uh, stock in these oil companies that they don't care anymore. Yeah. What good what is business. having the money if you're not healthy enough to spend it? That's what mm. I always, I never That's understood. True. You can't even enjoy it. You can't enjoy even enjoy it. I remember Birdman, they said Birdman invested into the oil companies. Remember he got the oil thing tattooed on his head? Is that oh, why I didn't he know has that? that? I thought it was I the think. Houston Oilers thing. Oh, he, nah. When we, I, we got it covered by It's a star now. It's covered yeah. up. Oh. But I think, I don't know if it was a rumor, but they right. said he had like a little oil thing on his head. And it was I believe he that. In, in, he probably you know, did. I mean, wow. he lives down there. He probably knows a whole bunch of people yeah. that work out on those oil rigs. Yeah. That's one of the best jobs to get when you live down there, because, but you yeah. have to live on the oil rig like months at a time mm -hmm. or weeks at a time. And then you come home, you can yeah. chill, but you Sorry make a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, my brother's girlfriend's dad, uh, he works at one. And he'll be gone for like two, three weeks. Yeah. And things like that. Yeah. And he'll be like Mississippi Gulf Coast area, New Orleans. Yeah. Like that. So yeah, that's a real thing. That's so I, I believe that. So um, that was kind of like it. Also, just that.